Welcome to the Royal Albert Hall for the 100th Royal Variety performance in the presence of Her Royal Highness Her Majesty the Queen and His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh. The show is in aid of the Entertainment Artists Benevolent Fund of which Her Majesty the Queen is patron. Her Majesty is introduced to Laurie Mansfield, Life President of the EABF and Chairman Giles Cooper. The money raised from tonight's event provides the EABF with funds to help those people from the world of entertainment in need of care and assistance. As the Royal Party makes its way into the hall, Catherine Jenkins prepares to lead the National Anthem. with Prince Philip for the Royal Variety Show. London's Victoria Palace, among stars lucky enough to be presented, were Nat King Cole. Sandy Davis was another. It was a very happy evening, Her Majesty is reported as saying. The people in the cheaper seats clap your hands. And the rest of you, if you just rattle your jewels. Because he's the only one who can get away with that, you know that. I'm glad all over. I wish you wouldn't do that. <laughs> What's it all about? Isn't he small? She said. <laughs> and what a show I think we have for us. Far a long, long way to run. They've only got one hour. Very good, aren't they? She's not a new she was. There's more people back there than there are out here. She had an interesting left eye, the right one kept looking at it.
curiosity of one child brought an entire museum to life. And to finish off our special British exhibition, we have iconic British talent. Moving on. Ladies and gentlemen, 100 years of the Royal Variety. But diversity were not the only life in the museum that night.
Satan has talent. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving three cheers for Her Majesty the Queen and His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh. Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! hip, hip. hip, hip. Thank you and good night. The Royal Party make their way to the stage to meet the stars of tonight's show. Her Majesty is presented to One Direction and the winners of Britain's Got Talent, Ashley and Punty. Followed by Robbie Williams and one of tonight's leading ladies, Alicia Keys. Then Placido Domingo, who performed a special duet with Catherine Jenkins. Next to meet Her Majesty is classical star Andrea Bocelli and the legendary Rod Stewart, plus Neil Diamond, who closed tonight's show with a memorable performance of Sweet Caroline. Kylie Minogue is presented, followed by two of our finest comedians, the much-loved Bill Bailey and the award-winning Rob Gilbert. Next, Amanda Holden and the leading ladies of Matilda, the musical. Then, Bradley Walsh and China's three tenors who flew in from Beijing especially for tonight's performance. Some of our best-loved entertainers, Sir Bruce Forsyth, Ronnie Corbett, Jimmy Tarbuck and Des O'Connor, who have appeared on many royal varieties, greet Her Majesty on this centenary night. Followed by Girls Aloud, who opened tonight's show. And finally, a warm reception for tonight's host, David Walliams. From everyone here at the Royal Albert Hall, good night. Watching those famous faces leaving the jungle is definitely worth capturing on camera. They can't wait to get back to a life of luxury, so it's lucky ITV One's cameras were there. Because on Wednesday night at 8, Anton Deck present I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, Coming Out, following the celeb's first few days of freedom. The last in a series of The Agenda is at 10.50 tonight. That's after the news, which is next. <laughs>